name is Shani and I want to present as a SciTech. Like most people, I'm now working from home, so welcome to my dining room. Some people are really lucky and our beautiful gardens that just seem to grow without even having to water or fertilise them. Some of us don't quite have the green thumb. Have you ever wondered how you can make beautiful flowers bloom reliably? Today, I'm going to try an experiment to find out how. For this experiment, you will need paper, pencils or textures to colour in and draw your flowers, scissors, and a big bowl or container of water. First of all, we're going to make some flowers. We're going to make them out of paper. You can make them however you want, just as long as you can fold all of the petals into the centre. So don't make them too big. Draw your designs on paper and colour them in. Carefully cut them out with scissors. Make sure you're sitting down for this step. You can ask an adult if you need help getting into the tricky corners as well. Fold all of the petals into the centre of the flower like this. Now we're ready for the experiment. Carefully place your paper flowers into the water and watch what happens. Ooh. Whoa! Wow, this looks incredible. It's not magic, it's actually science. When the flowers are placed in the water, the paper immediately starts to absorb it. While paper might look pretty solid, under a microscope, you can see it's actually full of tiny holes. When the paper is put in the water, the water naturally flows into these holes. This is an example of what is called capillary action. As the paper absorbs water, it starts to swell and this pushes the petals open. And the petals will open in a different order depending on how you fold them. Try some different styles for yourself and see what happens. The best part about this experiment is it makes people smile. So find someone who you'd like to share a smile with today and show them your new science experiment. Thanks for joining me today. If you had fun with this experiment, you can let us know using the social media hashtag SciTechAtHome. See you next time.